Hi, I'm Dr. Karen Perkins, and we are live in Newport Beach at the Speaking Empire Amplify event. And you know, you want to surround yourself with people that amp you up and, and have that Amplify experience. And you know, I've had the opportunity to be at a couple of these events with Cornelia here, and she is one of those people that truly lifts you and knows her craft. Now, Cornelia Merck, and you have a book that's coming up that's How to Heal Yourself. It is called How We Heal Ourselves. Okay, I got it wrong. How We Heal Ourselves. Now, I've got to say that again because I want you to go get it. How We Heal Ourselves. And the reason why we uh, named the book um, How We Heal Ourselves is because we have so many stories in the book where people actually heal themselves from all kinds of diseases, be it diabetes, cancer, um, emotional trauma and back pain. It doesn't really matter what it is, but it, what we wanted to show is it doesn't matter what kind of disease someone is suffering from. If one person can heal themselves from it, it means that everybody can do it. That's true. That is true. Tell me a little bit more about the book and some of the things they can expect to see in it. What we um, beginning in, of the book is actually that we make the distinction between conventional medicine, what it does, but even more so what it doesn't do. Mm -hmm. Because conventional medicine is all about what we call just managing the symptom. It's not about really going to the root cause of any disease. It doesn't matter what it is. And as long as you're not really dealing with the root cause of a disease, there's no healing possible. And also it is really about managing it and not about empowering the person to actually access what we all have, which is the innate healing power. We all have it. And unfortunately, we are brought up from a very early age that we even as a child, when something happens, then we have to go out to the doctor and we are, my, the parents take us and then they just say, okay, you have to go and when they see and the doctor then tells us, okay, this is what you have to do instead of actually really learning that to rely on our own healing. Uh, capabilities that we have, and that is really unfortunate. Okay, we gotta stop. Sorry, we're gonna have to start again because yeah, no, she was just clearly too loud. Oh yeah, okay. And and Darwin didn't stand up and tell her to shut her mouth. Okay, so we, what we just do is just do we'll just start over again. Well, no, just pick up from where you go. No, it's and just I'll, kind I'll of the last pick. Yeah, to be just cut it off. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, yeah. all right. So, where, where should we pick it up from? Uh, probably just again what's in the book. Okay. So, tell me again what's, what's in the book. What are some of the things we can expect to get from it? What you can get from it that you learn the difference between what conventional medicine does for you and what it does when, what happens when you really step into your own power to heal yourself. That's a big difference because when you go to a doctor, normally what they do, they manage your symptoms. It doesn't matter if you're, it's um, emotional trauma or it's back pain, it's all about symptoms and then we do something about the symptoms. But they don't look for what is really underneath that, the underlying cause of your back pain or your um, even diabetes. And it's not necessarily always just um, the diet. It might yeah. be something completely different and going for that and you are the only person, or every person is the only one that can heal themselves because they know their body better than anyone else. But unfortunately, the doctors don't really look for that, so they don't guide us into the right direction. And as children, we are actually taught already that we need outside help right. in order to heal. And that's wrong. And the sad thing is, is that typically these doctors see the the symptom and not the root cause, and so that what they do, they throw pills at the symptom. That's it, or they, they cut out the, the cancer, but they, uh, I mean, I, I have met so many people in my years working with um, patients and with clients that actually they had cancer, they overcame came it, and with kind of medication or with chemotherapy or radiation, mm -hmm. and then they think they are healed, but then two years later, 
they have cancer again somewhere different yeah. maybe not necessarily breast cancer the next time it's ovarian cancer or whatever it might be so that means there is still something wrong A in the system mm -hmm. and what I came to learn more and more it is all about energy as well and we really in the book we talk about that and how you can take your power back to actually heal yourself and doing this we talk a lot about awareness because you can only heal or change what you're aware of. Oh I love that. Now you've been in the healing oh, industry business really a miraculous area in the way that you've worked with people in healing and you've seen some real what some of us would call miracles but you know it's just because people are capable of healing themselves yeah. right and I mean this is definitely something that we want to co I'm actually a co-author in the book uh, my co-author is Janet Nestor and we wrote this book together and what we have seen more and more is when one person can do that then everyone can do that because if it's possible and I mean they have done the placebo studies which just means that someone has um, gets a sugar pill mm -hmm. and they get the healing or someone even had a fake surgery uh, like they've done these um, kind of studies where they have people having fake surgeries and they still got the results so what is doing the healing it's not the doctor because they didn't do anything so it's in the end it's the um, it's really the body that does it and it's the mind behind the the uh, what happens in the body because the mind has such a big influence on in what's happening in the body so for example if I cut myself in the kitchen I look at my finger and I tell my finger to stop bleeding and it does mm -hmm. because we can act we have we are so powerful but unfortunately no one tells us you know and, and to bring it to a, a different perspective it's kind of like running the mile Yep. Remember when they said, oh, you can't run it under this amount of time, and then somebody broke the record, the and all of, a, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, everybody could run it that fast, and then they said, oh, you couldn't possibly run it faster, and then somebody else broke the record, and then everybody could run that fast. So it's the same way with healing. And if one person can heal, everyone can. Exactly, and this is why we show so many different healing stories in the book, because just to show that it's possible, and for a lot of people, that means hope. When, once they learn that someone else has healed from cancer or from whatever it might be, then they start believing that they can do it for themselves as well. And this is often the first and the most important step to yeah. do that. I love that. Now they're going to want to get your book, but yes. a lot of the things in your book are also things that you teach at your retreats and other things, right? Yes, that is. We, we have a section in the book that which really is the big difference in the book in comparison to so many others, that we actually have a lot of exercises in the book to enhance body awareness, mind awareness. How do we speak, not just to other people, but also to ourselves, about ourselves, about our body, and then by just becoming aware of that, that's how we can change that. And I do the same things then in the retreats. So. Awesome. So we all want the book. You know you do. So where do they go to get the book? So they, uh, you can get the book, How We Heal Ourselves, uh, either on the website. And we do have a website <laughs> with the same name, um, howweheelourselves.com. And then, of course, Amazon, Barnes & Noble. It's available everywhere. And the author is myself, Cornelia Merck, and Janet Nestor. I love Unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, she's not here today, but uh, you will see her. <laughs> You'll get to know her. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so how we heal ourselves. How we heal ourselves in, on the website. You can order it there, or you can go to Amazon.com or in a bookstore and order it or and get it there. And um, if you really want to get in touch with me personally, even for retreats, you can reach me at Cornelia at CorneliaMerk.com, C-O-R-N-E-L-I-A at CorneliaMerk, M-E-R-K.com. Oh, Cornelia, it has been a delight visiting with you again. It is always wonderful to see you, and I adore you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Karen, for having me again.